So in this video, I wanted to present an alternative way to find the base to acid ratio if you are given a pH and a pKa. Um, this alternative does not use the henderson hasselbalch equation. Rather, we use the Ka. So earlier, we've mentioned the whole classic reaction in which you have an acid dissociating into H plus and an anion. And we talked about how the Ka expression would be products over the reactants. Oops, I forgot to put that negative there. All over HA. Now, what you could do is simply move this H plus, divide it, you know, divide both sides by this H plus so that we can get this Ka over H plus equals the conjugate base concentration over the undissociated acid concentration. So now notice this is the base to acid ratio, right? Now here we have the Ka and the H plus concentration. So if we use our knowledge that of the definitions here that I will present, uh, the pH, if you remember, is equal to the negative log of the H plus concentration. So what is the H plus concentration equal? Well, if we move this negative over, we get negative pH equals the log of the H plus concentration, right? And if we un if we want to undo this, right, we take the base 10, both sides, to undo that log. And then we get the H plus concentration is equal to 10 to the negative pH. Likewise, if we have pKa, that's equal to the negative log of the Ka, right? So we can do the same thing here, negative pKa equals the log of the Ka, take the base 10 of both sides, and then we get the Ka, oops, not the concentration of the Ka, excuse me. So we get um, the Ka is equal to 10 to the negative pKa, right? So what we have here now, right, is these two definitions, right? This H plus concentration is equal to 10 to the negative pH, and the Ka is equal to 10 to the negative pKa. Right? So notice that's what we have here: Ka H plus. So the Ka we can replace this right with the Ka is equal to 10 to the negative pKa over the H plus concentration is 10 to the negative pH. So if we're given both the pKa and the pH pH, we want to find the base acid ratio, we can just simply plug this in and that's what we get as, a, as our ratio. So in an earlier problem, actually in the previous video, we were told that um, we were told that the pH, we were talking about aspartate I believe, right, yeah, aspartate, the pKa of the side chain was equal to 4 and the pH of the environment was 5, right? And when we did that, we found that the base to acid ratio was uh, 10 to 1, right? We found that the base to acid ratio was 10 to 1, right? So when we do that here, we should get, so this would be 10 to the negative pKa. The pKa is 4, so we have 10 to the negative 4 over 10 to the negative 5. And we get then is 10 to the 1, right, which is 10 over 1. So we get that same exact answer. Okay. So um, this is just a quick overview about another way to do, solve the problem in case this way seems to make more sense, click a little bit better. Uh, I ran through that quite quickly, but um, that's essentially what the henderson hasselbalch equation does, uh, but this is kind of just presenting it to you in a different fashion. So if this way is easier for you, then by all means use this way. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching.